I again want to thank the witnesses for being here today. Uh, after today, I suspect that uh, there will be some who label you agents of the deep state or something else conspiratorial or nonsensical uh, meant to justify ignoring what you've said today, uh, ignoring the facts. That may be uh, the short-term cost of acting honorably and telling the truth, but your actions should have an important long-term impact. They will help keep us on the course set by the framers of our Constitution. Let me paraphrase the words of John Adams and others. Whether ours shall continue to be a government of laws and not of men is ultimately for the American people to decide. And let me also today make a broader statement to millions of Americans who put their trust in Donald Trump. In these hearings so far, you've heard from more than a dozen Republicans who've told you what actually happened in the weeks before January 6th. You will hear from more in the hearings to come. Several of them served Donald Trump and his administration, others in his campaign. Others have been conservative Republicans for their entire careers. It can be difficult to accept that President Trump abused your trust, that he deceived you. Many will invent excuses to ignore that fact. But that is a fact. I wish it weren't true, but it is. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.